I come from a small town, uh, Picton, Ontario. Um, basically what happened was the Jamaican handfields would come up and they would um, pick apples, tomatoes, you know, on the farm and whatnot, and I would work with them. And um, I needed to learn the patois so that I could speak with them, you know? And then how I got into the reggae music part of it was we'd go down to their um, a little place behind the farmer's house and they would cook food for me. I'd bring down a karaoke machine and then we'd make like little tape dubs and that's how I basically got into it. I released this single, When You Wind It, um, and that's done very, you know, that's put me to a good spot, a position that I, I like. Um, I got nominated for uh, Top Newcomer in the Canadian Reggae Music Awards with this track, full album actually. Um, this trophy I won for this song at the Gong Show in Zone 1. Um, so. Um, of course, Bob Marley, uh, Coco T, Gregory Isaac, um, even Snow. <laughs> um, uh, Tiger, Red Fox, I mean, list, list could go on, you know? Um, basically, the lyrics that I speak in my song are, you know, for, have fun, you know, uh, lyrics from past relationships to help out other people, you know? Um, I talk about God, you know, Ja. Um, many different lyrics, but they're all very conscious, you know, lyrics. Anyone that knows me knows me as a conscious artist. I, I don't deal with the other stuff, you know? Each to their own. <laughs> do what they gotta do. That was great. Um, what happened was I met with a producer here at the radio station, X, Big Up X, of course, um, MX Productions. Um, at uh, Ron Nelson's radio station, 88.1, yeah, exactly. And um, we just kind of connected, listened to my track, and then he flew me down to Jamaica to open up for uh, Richie B's show, uh, Chuck Fender um, and um, Richie Spice. And then also the main reason why we were down there was to do a combination with Sexy G, with which is one of his main artists and she's wicked. <laughs> so we were, we were in Kingston, Jamaica at Willie's studio recording the track You've Got Me Going On. I guess the, the newest uh, reggae artist coming out and uh, to mash up every dance hall, you know? And um, have fun. So something huge, you know, something to a next level so for Casper. If you want to buy your CD, where, where can they get it or contact you? Well, they can contact my email, unlimitedsounds at rogers.com, or they can go to Sam the Record Man. They can go to uh, Tropical Records, A-Tip Records in uh, Brampton, many places. You know, in Scarborough, there's a place called um, bad something, you know. I, I work with a lot of artists. Right now I've got the upcoming of Mosey D, which he's, he was up there. <laughs> um, I got an, I like to develop new talent, you know, as a producer. So I got Mosey D, I got Taz, Thanda, I got Spoiler, I got many artists, you know, that I work with. I've worked with two artists from the UK, Faith and Amari. Um, and Scratch, you know? Faith is a group, sorry, so in England. And um, so I've worked with enough artists still, you know? Um, hopefully, you know, to the top, you know, as, as far as it can go. Um, I really don't know, you know, in 10 years. All I can say for me uh, in 10 years to bring out the reggae music and on the Miss Sounds artists, I think we sh it should be very far and um, 
to state a, um, a point is that I think a lot of the artists um, that I deal with and that I know um, don't want to hit over that crossover. So honestly, when you ask me that question, I, I would say straight up, um, I, I think in 10 years, if they don't cross over, a lot of the artists and a lot of the reggae music will be just gone, but you have to cross over, you know what I mean? To take it to an international level. Lyrically, melody line, uh, beat, rhythm, all of it should cross over, but still stay similar, have the roots and have the, but mix it with a bunch of music, like my album, mixed with everything. R&B, reggae, hip hop, you name it. Very versatile that way. Yes, when you wine it's in stores now, you know, come and get it. You know, big it up every time, Casper, you know.